Here are five video ideas that are almost guaranteed to go viral. And no, that's not some clickbaity overstatement. Regardless of the games you play or the niche you're in, these ideas will work. They've worked for me, my students, and the channels I've worked with time and time again. And I can personally attribute about 20 million views to them. So in a sec, I'm gonna show you exactly what they are, as well as real examples with analytics to prove how well these work. But before we can do that, there's a catch. Because in order for your video to go viral, it first needs to check the following five boxes. First, you need to have the first mover's advantage. In almost every single viral or semi-viral video I've ever created, those videos were the first of their kind in that particular niche. The second box you need to tick if you want a chance at virality is the video you create needs to be early and or ride some kind of trend. See, what's interesting is that most of the time, it's very rare for a video just to kind of go viral from nothing. Usually there's some sort of movement or trend, some sort of uptick in hype or attention around a certain topic and your video just happens to latch onto that at the beginning of the wave and surf it all the way up. The next box you need to check is a viral video usually needs to have a broad appeal. You might be creating videos for a specific niche and your videos might be so specific that in general the broader sub market or market aren't really interested in the type of content you create. And as a small creator, that's okay. But if you're trying to create a very viral and discoverable video, usually you want your video idea to have a broader appeal. Because while your video might start in your niche, if you want it to skyrocket to hundreds of thousands or even millions of views, there needs to be a large amount of demand for that particular video. And some niche topics are just simply too small to go viral. And later on in the video, I'll give you some concrete examples of this. Another thing that's essential for virality is for your video to have a really high click-through rate. In this video, I'm gonna help you with the idea, but you really need to make sure that your title and thumbnail are good enough to match it. Because as your viral video expands and grows and generates traffic, YouTube's gonna push it to an even more general audience. And if your title and thumbnail aren't highly appealing, that general audience is gonna be less likely to click on your video because they're not as invested in that type of content as the smaller audience that may have kick-started that video's growth. Your analytics will start going down significantly and YouTube will stop promoting your video. And this is often why videos plateau. YouTube promotes them to more and more and more and more people until eventually the audience gets so broad that YouTube stops getting as positive analytics and audience signals and then it starts flatlining. And this is the enemy of virality. And last but not least, your video also needs to have great audience retention. Hopefully by now you know how the YouTube algorithm works, but if you don't, a huge part of the algorithm focuses on whether or not your audience actually engage with your videos. And the main factor of engagement is whether or not they actually spent their time watching them. You can nail absolutely everything on this list and use the viral ideas I'm gonna reveal in this video, but if people click off your video right away, the algorithm will kill it and it has no chance of going viral. So assuming you've got these down, the final piece of the puzzle is to have a viral video idea. And I want to show you five of my favorites right now. Easter egg videos. Most big games nowadays will have Easter eggs hidden throughout them. Maybe they're references, secret messages, rare animations, whatever they are. And if you're playing your game a lot, you probably already know what a whole bunch of them are. And in this video idea, basically you're just going to reveal these Easter eggs to the broader community. And these videos can easily go semi-viral or even viral when you do the things I'm about to show you. And to prove this, I want to go behind the scenes of a particular video and and show you exactly how this works. So this video is all about the rarest animations in Apex Legends. In total, it's got almost 1.2 million views and 7,000 subscribers just from this one video. But more importantly, look how quickly this exploded. From day one on March 2 to day 14 on March 16, this video got almost 500,000 views and it continued to grow from there until it eventually hit almost 1.2 million. Now, as I mentioned earlier, even though the idea is a major component of what makes a viral video, you still need to check some other boxes if you want a chance of going viral. So as we talked about, audience retention is super important. And as you can see, this video managed to keep almost 50% of the audience watching right until the beginning of the outro, which especially given this video has over 1 million views is a very impressive feat. Also, you can see the click-through rate is almost 10% which again, for a video that's got 7.5 million impressions and has obviously been shown to a very wide audience is quite good. But what's really cool is if you can nail these things, this video idea can go viral regardless of how many subscribers you've got. As you can see on this analytics graph, on March 2, this particular channel had about 2,500 subscribers. Yet 
in 14 days, the video had over 500,000 views. In other words, this video went viral not because this channel has a large audience, it went viral because it was a good video and video idea. And as even further proof of that, if we come down to the traffic sources analytic on this video, you can see the vast majority of traffic is not coming from this channel's subscriber base. It's coming from browse, it's coming from suggested videos, and it's coming from YouTube search. So what are the keys to pulling off a viral Easter eggs video like this one? One of the most important things is really being as aggressive as you can and taking that first move as advantage. The earlier you can reveal your Easter eggs and the fewer people who already know about them, the better. And this includes on social media. If your video is featuring Easter eggs that have already blown up on social media, then a large amount of your potential audience would have already seen them and therefore your video will be less appealing and engaging for them, which results in a video that doesn't go viral. Another important key I've discovered for these kinds of videos is you usually wanna tease the most exciting Easter eggs in your video in your thumbnail. And I'm not talking about adding your own surprised face with words that say insane Easter egg discovery. I'm talking about literally featuring the exact Easter eggs in the thumbnail. You might think this kind of defeats the purpose of the video because it's already revealing the Easter egg to the viewer and then they don't need to watch. But based on what I've seen, you don't have to worry about that. But what if the games you play don't have many Easter eggs? Or what if your style of channel doesn't really suit this type of video idea? Well, then maybe the next one will work great for you. And it's parodies. A parody, AKA spoof, AKA satire, aka send up, aka caricature, ca 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 that thing, thanks Wikipedia, is an idea where you take a famous video or trailer and you make fun of it by changing the editing style or adding in jokes and memes. My favorite types of videos to make parodies of are flagship trailers for highly popular games. You know, ones like this, this, and this. And when you execute on this idea like I'm about to show you, these videos can blow up. For example, this particular video is a parody of the Battlefield 5 trailer. And as you can see, especially for a three minute video, it kind of blew up. It's closing in on a million views. And when it was first launched, it got some insane numbers, including over 31,000 views in one day. Now again, this isn't all the idea. The retention for this video, as you can see, is also pretty damn good. You can see until we hit the outro, we're still retaining about 50% of our audience. Also, if we check out the click-through rate, this video has maintained a 10.1% click-through rate, despite having over 6.6 .6 million impressions. But I've used this idea time and time again in the past, in different niches, in multiple multiple different games and the results have been pretty damn cool. Because as you can see, again, these videos aren't blowing up because this channel has a large subscriber count. In fact, it was a relatively small channel when this video was posted. But as you can see in the traffic sources report again, this video is getting almost all of its views from YouTube browse, search, and suggested. And it's also getting a bunch of views from other, probably gamers sharing this video with their friends because the idea itself is quite a shareable one. So beyond all the things we've talked about already, what are the keys to nailing a trailer parody? Probably the most important one is that your parody needs to be released as close as possible to the thing that you're parodying. I don't know if parodying is a word, but we'll go with it. The other thing that's important to nail a parody type idea is that the thing you're creating a parody of needs to be garnering a lot of attention in the first place. And it's even ideal if that thing is potentially a little bit controversial. So in this instance, Battlefield games are kind of a big deal. And in this particular trailer, it was copying a lot of flack and it was very controversial based on some things that happened in it. Therefore, lots of people were talking about it and making fun of it and poking jokes at it. And so when they saw a YouTube parody of it, it didn't take much for them to click. The next idea is listicles. And by listicle, I'm talking about those top 10 best X videos or top five best ways to X videos. There's just something about this listicle format that just works across all mediums, not just YouTube. As humans, we're always looking for shortcuts, but we also want to be able to make up our own minds on certain things. And so when someone else does all of the research and compiles and summarizes things into a list, we get the shortcut of not having to go through random and compile all of those things ourselves, but we also get the ability to make up our own decision and compare the different points within the listicle. And on top of that, listicles are built in a way that fosters really great audience retention if you do it correctly. And the algorithm loves that, but they're not foolproof. I'm sure you've seen many listicle style videos that have completely flopped because there are a few key things you need to do if you want your listicle to blow up because they can blow up and when they do, they go well. For example, look at this video. 
This video is about tips and tricks in Star Wars Battlefront. And as you can see, this video gradually blew up until it now has over 300,000 views. Now granted, this video was posted on a channel that had a little bit of a following to begin with, but as you can see, it drastically outperformed the regular videos on this channel. And there are tons of examples of tiny channels that have strategically created great listicle videos that have also blown up like this. And another cool thing about these types of videos is they're so flexible. They don't just have to be educational or factual like this particular example is. For example, here's another video I created with the channel I was working on. And as you can see, it went on to perform pretty damn well. And this video probably would have blown up more if it wasn't for a pretty average click through rate that I only just noticed and that I probably would have changed the thumbnail on this video if I had noticed it earlier. Good job, Marcus. <laughs> And while it's true that this particular channel did have a little bit of an audience already, as you can see, the majority of views from this video did not come from this audience. They came from suggested, browse, and YouTube search. And one of the reasons for that is because this particular video was actually posted on a channel where these types of videos weren't exactly the norm. So this video probably didn't interest the majority of viewers on this channel. However, as you can see, it had a viral appeal to another large audience, and that's one of the reasons why it went semi-viral. So what are the keys to a listicle video? again beyond the things we've already talked about well it's important to be first sometimes you can get away with not being first if you are the most what I mean by that is that sometimes you can have more points on your list than your competitors and in circumstances like that sometimes your video can actually still do pretty well another thing that's important is the idea itself needs to be interesting the topic of your video needs to be appealing if you create a listicle video about the top 10 ways to dry paint despite the fact that the listicle formula can work really well, your video will probably flop. Another thing that's really important with this type of video is to maximize its appeal. And what I mean by that, in this particular example, I've created a video that provides 100 tips and tricks for Star Wars Battlefront 2 players. So this video could appeal to any Star Wars Battlefront 2 player. However, this video probably wouldn't have performed nearly as well if it had been a video along the lines of the top 100 tips and tricks for snipers in Star Wars Battlefront 2 who use a specific weapon because that video would only have appealed to Star Wars Battlefront 2 snipers who use that particular weapon. So while specificity is good, and if you go too general, you're going to be so broad that no one's going to care, you need to find the balance of not being too niche, but also not being too general. So if your video does well, YouTube can feed it to a lot of people. But if listicles don't work for you, this next type of video might. And that's clip compilations. And these videos are, well, exactly what they sound like. You take a pile of clips and you compile them into, well, a compilation. And then you post them to YouTube. And similar to the listicle idea, there are heaps of people doing clip compilations, but most of them are doing it wrong, which is a shame because when you do it right, like I'm about to show you, these videos can get really impressive results. For example, check out this video. On day one, it actually did pretty bad considering that this channel usually got between 5,000 and 6,000 views. And what this is telling us is that this video was not resonating with the audience of this channel. So any success this video had, had to do with good content, good positioning, and a good idea itself, rather than this channel's actual audience. And if we come up here, 90 days later, you can see the video has over 550,000 views. So what are the keys to creating a clip compilation that actually blows up like this one? You want the first mover's advantage. One of the biggest reasons why this video did so well was because it was the first decent Spider-Man compilation video on the internet. And because it took that free real estate early on, it gained traction pretty quickly. And by the time other people cottoned on, it was too late for them. Another key to clip compilations is that the clips themselves actually need to be good, especially the first few ones. And so many people make the mistake of just having bad clips in their video. They might play video games for two or three hours, record themselves, and then cut that down into a compilation. But in reality, if we're being super objective and honest, potentially only two to three of the clips recorded during that session are actually highly unique and interesting. And so their audience retention graph looks terrible. So people leave their video, it sends YouTube negative signals, and the video dies, along with their hopes and dreams. It can also be helpful to try and surf up a trend with these videos. So probably the best, despite cringy example of this I can find is this particular video. As you can see, the analytics are a little bit munted on this one. You can see it says 107,000 views from 63,000 impressions. I mean, go figure. But the principle this video illustrates pretty well here is how you can take something that's just trending in general. At the time of this very old video, it was the PPAP meme. Create your compilation around that and try to piggyback off that trend to get more attention. But if all of these video ideas sound like a lot of work to you, then the next one is probably going to be your favorite. And that is YouTube Shorts. Yep, just YouTube Shorts 
in general. Yes, the quality of traffic on YouTube Shorts is lower. And just because a short blows up, it doesn't mean your whole channel or your long form content is gonna blow up as well. But if you just want a viral video as quickly as possible, putting a lot of effort into Shorts is probably your best bet. And to give you a case study of that, for example, one of my students was stuck for a few months around four to 500 subscribers until he posted a single short that brought in over a million views. And in a few days, he gained the 500 remaining subscribers he needed to hit the big 1000 subscriber mark. And because of this, I recently made a one-stop shot video that will teach you everything you need to know about how to nail your gaming shorts and give them the best chance possible of going viral. That video is on screen right now. So click it and you won't be disappointed.